Chef Devin Rajkumar here from Montai Tooma where I am working right now and I will demonstrate for you a cornbread vinaigrette. Chef Devin Rajkumar here at Oma with Chef Andrew Wilson. I'm going to be demonstrating the cornbread vinaigrette for you. We're going to start with egg yolks in the robo. Then we're going to follow up with a little bit of Dijon. We have garlic confit, which is just garlic cooked off in some oil. It takes out that pungency and we'll add a little bit of that oil as well. We are going to add the juice of two lemons. We're going to add charred jalapeno, that's Chef Matt Blonde in there. He wants to know what's going on in his kitchen right now. We're going to give this a whirl. And again, this is the cornbread vinaigrette for the shredded kale salad. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to add in that cornbread that I doubled on City Line that's been soaking in buttermilk. We're going to add in a couple nice big spoons of this. So this is quite a thick vinaigrette but it really, it's really going to stick to that kale well. Back on, and I'm going to emulsify with some olive oil. Add some salt. And some fresh cracked black pepper. That's essentially the cornbread vinaigrette. Can we get a close up here? Beautiful. This is a video of Chef Matt Blondin taking a picture of his dish for Instagram. Shameless self-promotion. And what dish is this? It's a uh, Kentucky Fried Squid, Kentucky. pickled watermelon rinds, some Carolina mustard, chives, and a gremolata made from dried collard greens, pancetta, and lemon zest. And this is available at? Oma. Excellent, thank you, Chef. And we're back in the kitchen at Oma with Chef Andrew Wilson. Chef, what are you doing? <laughs> this is good, I like this. These are black, black rice midlands? Yes, they are. Very delicate. So you just deep fry them for a little bit? Yes. So what the Midland is is a broken rice grain. So we've okay. taken the rice and we've put it through the Robocoop, which is our industrial strength blender. And we've cooked it out and dehydrated them. Once they're dehydrated, we just pretty much fry them at about 400 degrees. And this is the product that you see here. And, and what does this go on? This goes on our chicken burgoo dish. Chicken burgoo. Chef, thank you for your time.